The 2016 Summer Olympics may seem like a long way off, but for host city Rio de Janeiro, there is not a minute to waste. Rio has a lot of work to do to get ready, and topping the list is an out-of-control crime rate. The city even wants to hire former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani to help. Our report from CNBC's Aaron Burnett in Rio de Janeiro. The extremes in Rio de Janeiro are overwhelming. Beautiful beaches, modern skyscrapers, impoverished slums. And with slums comes extraordinary levels of crime. There were nearly 4,500 murders here in 2008, nine times the number in America's biggest city, New York. This community center is in one of Rio's most dangerous neighborhoods, where nearly half the crimes take place. American Zach Pastor founded it. Crime um, is not limited to the favelas by any means. Crime is uh, really everywhere throughout Rio de Janeiro. Experts say one third of Rio's population lives in favelas or very poor slums like this one. We're here at Copacabana Beach and the favela on the hill behind me was raided by police just last week. Now they control it instead of the drug lords. But the police are part of the problem. The numbers are staggering. For every 23 people arrested here in Rio, one is killed by the police. In the United States, the comparable number is one person killed for every 37,000 arrested. It gives you a sense of the scale of the problem. Drug lords rule, in part because they're better armed than the real Rio police. They sell marijuana, cocaine, and increasingly crack. According to the CIA, Brazil is the world's second largest consumer of cocaine. The security crisis here a big obstacle to Rio's 2016 Olympics. And the man running Rio's Olympics is betting on Rudy Giuliani to help in final negotiations to hire him as a security consultant. In terms of security measures, because he was very successful in New York City, his insights and his uh, know-how to help us to move forward this fight against crime. But it may be too much to ask. As several people told us in Rio, this is more than crime. It's a full-fledged war. Aaron Burnett, CNBC, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil.